Hello Peach, it's VG Collector 1 on here, and today I'm going to be doing another, you know, little video about what's been going on lately, because basically it's like, what the channel is now is not making videos unless I do something cool and want to make a video on it. So, first of all, my stuffed animals, I, um, you probably don't see them a lot, but I do have quite a few stuffed animals. Um, it's not actually bragging, because it's really hard to manage the collection. They were on my bed because that's where they've always been and now if we look up above up there they are on the top of the bookshelf. Now I didn't want to put them up there because I know they're going to get extremely dusty but it's really the only way that they're going to fit in my room still. So we're going to start. First of all sewing I made this robe um, I finally got around to making the robe from one of my pattern sets, and in the future I'm really trying to see, find out how to open an Etsy shop. If anyone has any guides on that, like, I've seen guides for shopping on Etsy. I believe, um, Mixie Pixie 7 did a guide to shopping on Etsy, but as for how to open up your own store, I don't know anything about that. But I would love to, so this is a cute little robe. It's not technically finished, I just still have to hem this, but once that's hemmed, you know, I probably won't, actually, there's a few holes. It was not made to sell, I can tell you that. Also, I ordered some new American Girl stuff. I ordered the Sweet Socks and Tight Set, which, um, yeah. Here's one of the socks, the cute ankle socks. <laughs> I swear I ordered it, it's just, yeah, all over the place. Oh, here it is. So I ordered the sweet socks and tight set. I actually really like the black tights now because they go with the Halloween outfit I've been working on for a while. And then I also ordered the Lots of Dots bath wrap. You guys know I've been wanting this for like ever. So I'm super happy to have that. And then Marie Grace, if you're wondering, I've got Emily, Emily, Molly, and Cece up here. Anna Claire, Lindsay, and Kaya are down there. Marie Grace is over by the sewing machine because she's been a model because I've been sewing a lot lately. So, next, um, I may have talked about this in my last video, but I've done some custom Groovy Girl work. So, as I mentioned before on my channel, these are Groovy Girls. They're plush dolls. They're a really good doll line. Um, I used to get them at Melody's Choices but they were really expensive and then Melly's Choices closed down. It was a store in my local mall. So it closed down and now I just have the remnants of what I bought. So these are two dolls. I call this one Groovy because the tag says Spa Splendor. This one's name is Izzy. That's what her tag says. So um, first of all I'll go through the customs of Izzy. So Izzy, I added a whole row of highlights. Now these, this string here, I actually had to stitch in manually. The problem was that it was cut for Groovy's hair length. So, um, yeah, so it's sort of wild, but I like it. You can see here I manually stitched it in. Not my best work. This was the first customization I did on her. And I actually went all the way down to there. Yeah, pretty nice. I plan on adding some more hair in the future if I can find more yarn. Izzy's hair is definitely my favorite of all my groovy girls. I've got another one up there that's a ladybug that I'm not customizing. I pierced her ears and added some earrings that I don't usually wear or get a chance to wear. The ear piercing was actually harder than I thought because I had to use a push pin, like push it through the fabric, and it was hard. I also, as another customization, I added some scars. So. Here we have a cute little appendix scar, and then we have, that was supposed to be a heart transplant scar, but I couldn't look up a picture, so I just did it, and yeah. I don't know. I might, I'm not going to take it out, because I like it. But yeah, we added two little scars. I, th I like it. I think they look cute. They're supposed to represent scars. I also like Groovy Girls because since they're completely plush, there's just a whole range of customizing. And customizing sort of gives me a, a new way to play with them. I also added an elbow joints. Look at that. I sort of did that. So they look like elbow joints now. So now she can sort of bend her arm and I can make her I can make her do this. I mean, I think that's cool. <laughs> I know it's a stupid thing, but I think that's cool. And then also, Groovy... I made this outfit out of some fabric. So this skirt 
is the exact same skirt that Izzy has on, just made from different fabric. It's the exact same skirt. I traced this skirt onto a piece of fabric and cut it out and sewed it right up. It was really simple and easy. So if you're looking for a good sewing project for beginners, that would be good. Groovy girls are also like pretty easy to sew for. Their clothes are really simple. Not like, you know, 18 inch shawls, which can get complicated. This was the halter top. It's not my favorite, but um, it did turn out okay. I had to keep adjusting the um, incline, how steep it was around the arms, which was kind of annoying, but in the end it works. Either way, I just recreated basically her whole outfit. This is actually my favorite piece of clothing. So that's pretty much what I have been doing. Um, yeah. So hopefully I'll get a camera soon enough around Christmas time, so only a couple more months. Woo! Probably should look into camera purchasing options, but other than that, pretty much all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, rate, like, and subscribe if you want. And yeah. So, goodbye, I guess. Goodbye. I want this to be the thumbnail, so I'm going to hold it up for like 16 seconds. You could just exit the video now.